we've grown up together. We know how how each other are. Um, it's just the bonds that we've formed. That's where it all started. Just from a small town, we hung, we've hung out with each other since we could walk. Like, who would want to hang out with anybody Set. else other than them, right? Drive. There you go. Drive. 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 Come on, Kenny. It's a smaller team. I mean, so you get the brother aspect of it, and you you know everyone on your team. I mean, you guys, you're all close. Hey, I mean, that's what I love about it. Everyone's end goal is to get to the state championship game and win it. And I think we have the talent and the mentality to do it this year. I mean, we just, we can't let that get in front of us and, you know, overlook every team that we play. We're doing pretty good. We're 6-0. and uh, We've been coming out, uh, hitting them hard. They're just like most kids, I guess. You know, they just grow up and they can't wait till they can start putting on a uniform and, and uh, learning the game. Friday nights is what keeps you going. I mean, just how fun it is on the field, Friday night lights. I like the upbeat pace of the game. Like, it's a lot more fun. Now for your wedding as conventional as you get. I mean, uh, if you watch what we do, it's it's pretty. It's as close to watching an 11-man game as you can because we kind of play power football. Brandon Williams there for the run game. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's pretty weird. But I've been playing six-man, so it's, I don't know. You get used to it. Uh, you only have six guys that can cover so much ground. So you have to really like spread out and work together and just know your job first. Just the size of the schools, you know, we really, most of the schools that are playing six man really don't have a choice. I think, in my opinion, it would be it's just like a different game than 11 man. Like, it's just different. Sometimes six man can be harder. You know, you can go buy videos, you can buy books, you can, you can get all kinds of stuff from, uh, um, on 11 man. There's lots of stuff, information you can get on eight man even. And there's just, there's just nothing out there for six man. You're like constantly moving around the field and there's always something for you to do. The third quarter coming to a close. It's your Fleming Wildcats, 55. The Brickdale Falcons, 14. Well, you, you gotta, you gotta be tough, but you, you've also gotta like, be willing to work real hard. It's crazy. Everybody's flying around everywhere, going full speed all the time. Well, it's a beautiful night for homecoming here in Fleming. We just gotta keep rolling, but we gotta stay humble. 23 schools in Colorado have a six-man program, and like Fleming, most of those schools are on the Eastern Plains. I not only know my neighbors, I know 75% of the people in town on a first-name basis. All right, here Let's we go. Up, hey, boys. Let's keep our composure. All right. Every play, do your job, right? Damn. Coming up next, the Wildcats made the playoffs this season. So how'd they do? Welcome back to our special report on six-man football. The Fleming, Colorado Wildcats wouldn't be who they are without their coach and the love of just about everyone in the town of 400 people. It is about two hours northeast of Denver. They always say there's nothing to do out here, but they, um, they go to town and they don't do anything anyway, so. <laughs> And people are just very proud that, that they're from here. They're proud of how Fleming started and how Fleming grew and that it's still here. At one point in time, there was a couple of movie theaters. There have been car dealerships. Uh, there have been multiple grocery stores. Um, and then, you know, they come and go. Fleming was originally uh, the end of the line as the railroad was coming through. And then in 1889, H.B. Fleming 
donated 240 acres for the formation of a town. Obviously, this is a farming community, so we have lots of um, wheat, corn, millet that all flows through here. I moved here, what, 31 years ago now. Uh, my wife was from here, and when we said we graduated, decided to come this way. You know, there have been rough times when we've debated how smart it was to keep farming. You know, we knew we could have uh, made more money than probably what we were making, but um, we just, we wanted our kids to grow up here. We, we uh, you know, we just feel really strong about this community. So. It's totally different here. I not only know my neighbors, I know 75% of the people in town on a first name basis to stand and talk. You walk to the post office to get your mail and you know, it could take you two hours. I like the, I like the small community setting. I mean, like I said, it's everyone knows you, every, you know everyone else and they're always there for you. You can still find trouble out here, but <laughs> probably not as easy. The entire town is listening. You know somebody who can tell you what the score is or you know somebody who's, whose children are playing. Composure. All right. Every play, do your job, right? Ten. See you ten. Yep. Cats on three. One, two, three. Cats. Yes. Okay, let's just throw some good blocking by the Wildcats this time. Got it. So that's a great feeling. Just when you when you can look up and you see all your neighbors and everybody's just in the stands and they're filled from the town and community. It's it's a great feeling. No letting up. Keep the accelerator down, but do your job. Okay? Nobody else is do your job, right? Here we go. Go, 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 I'm so proud of the teams that Fleming has put out on the football team, football field. They've done a wonderful job, and it's it's really cool to see them go up against these other small schools and have a chance. Oh, absolutely, with pride. I'm from Fleming, Colorado. Where's that? Northeastern Colorado. Sterling is one of our suburbs. That was a huge defensive stand down there, stopping them on fourth down, all right? They're deflated, we jam it down their throat, down the field, all right? If you don't let up, they're about to quit. We've always had really good support, good turnout from the community, and, and I think it's uh, even, even more here lately, you know. immense pride because I'm proud of this town. It's it's a wonderful, friendly community. At this point in our story, the Wildcats are the number four seed out of 16 teams as they head to the semifinals. You learn by trial and error, and um, and you just you keep kind of making the best of it and, and learn from your mistakes. And Coach King always has us prepared for the team coming up, and so I think it's they're going to be a pretty good team. So up next, our team continues its undefeated streak into the state championship semifinals. Thanks for joining us for our look into six-man football in Colorado. It's actually a game that started in Nebraska as a way for very small schools to have a football team. 
even when they didn't have enough kids to field a traditional 11-man team. The Fleming Wildcats are on their way to the semifinals in six-man football. Let's see how they do with the help of their coach, who teaches them about so much more than just football. Let's go all the way. It's been the goal. I think it's been a goal for our team for a while. They're doing good this year as well, so it'll be a, more of a competition for us, like the past few weeks. Um, it'll be an aggressive game. 2010, 11, and 12, we made it to the state championship for three years in a row. Um, and won two of those three. And then since then, we've been to the playoffs back every year, but have not made it back to the championship game. I always say it, but it, it, it's really true. We just want to see how good we can get this year. They kept coming back every day and and uh, just kept competing, and, and that's what's paying off for us now. Coach King is more than just like a coach to me. I mean, he's he's taught me life lessons, and he doesn't just teach football. He teaches everything, and he's getting you prepared for the real world. It's great. He's taught us all a lot of things. Like, I've seen my brothers change over the years just playing and getting coached under him. and just outplaying them play after play after play. There should be no doubts in your mind that we can dominate this let's second half. All let's right? Do it. And let's go do it. Okay? Let's get it done let's right here. Let's go three back. One, two, three, go. Yes. It's more about, you know, teaching them hard work and, and accomplishing goals. And, and um, we really try to, to stress just, just being good people. If you want it, it's ours. All right? You learn by trial and error, and um, and you just you keep kind of making the best of it, and, and learn from your mistakes. And The team battled back from a halftime deficit to win against the number one seed Kit Carson team. We've worked really hard to be where we're at now. I mean, and it's not just one person that's doing it. It's all, I mean, 20, 
three of us that I think is on the roster. Don't make more of it than what it is, okay? It's a process of doing what your responsibility is, what we've been working on since the first week of August, all right? Our final segment, the Wildcats headed to the state championship. If you live in the metro area, you rarely get a glimpse into life that goes on on the Eastern Plains. So it's been great to see the traditions that make up this part of Colorado and make it very special. When we left off, the number four seed Fleming Wildcats were heading to the state championship. After so much hard work, the athletes and their coach were ready to see if it would all pay off in the end. Their final game of the year was against Stratton Liberty. We watched through the lens of photojournalist Austin Knox. You gotta mentally prepare, um, come out and be ready to give it your all no matter what. We've worked really hard to be where we're at now. I mean, and it's not just one person that's doing it. It's all, I mean, 23 of us that I think is on the roster. We're, every day we come to practice and we're working hard. Everyone's end goal is to get to the state championship game and win it. Yeah, we, know, we all know what could happen. We just gotta do it. Don't make more of it than what it is, okay? It's a process of doing what your responsibility is. Play as a team, understand? Hey, let's go. Be a 10 on three, let's go. One, two, three. Be a 10! Hit somebody! We've just been coming out fast off the start, hitting people first, getting them to flinch first, and then just taking over from there. I feel like if we're not prepared to play, like anything could happen to us. We just, we gotta keep our heads and go out humble and play the best we can. Keep the intensity, keep the focus. Let's go boys. Do your job, all right? Here we go. They're a well-coached team too, so I mean, they're gonna be disciplined. So that's, you know, it just means that we have to stay disciplined too. We just got to get off our blocks. We got to get off our blocks. Can't Does anybody think this is going to be easy? No. no. All right, here we go. Let's go, Wildcats! It's got to give them a lot more pride in what they're doing to know that the community is behind them. go all the way. It's been the goal. I think it's been a goal for our team for a while, but finally deciding to put it in play. We've got lots of time left. We just got to get our stop here. Okay? Got to get our stop. Here we go. Hey, let's go. Right here, baby. Let's go. This is what it's all about. This is the fun. All right, let's get after it. All right? Cats, one, two, three. Cats! Getting closer with all my friends and I mean the ups and downs that we've had to be able to get through them. That's honestly when you look back, that's my favorite part is just getting through those ups and downs as a team. got you here today. You guys, I have never been a prouder of a group of kids in my life. 
All right, you guys did what nobody gave you the chance to do.